Yo, what's good, man? So a couple of y'all in the comment section was asking if the stochastic is high on the one minute, but not on the M15, like what should you do? They be confused. They don't know, you know, where to get in or, you know, if they should even take the trade. Perfect example, if I'm looking at Apple right here, I'm in my demo account right now, so I can show y'all just for, you know, references. Um, the stochastic on this particular pair, let me let me come out and come back in. There we go. The stochastic on this particular pair was just high. It was high at the 92, and then you come to the M15, y'all, and it was low on the M15, starting to rise up, all right? As you can see, still down there, all right? So, the sale on the M1, you could still sell, but it wouldn't be a long-term sale. Now, if it was according to the trend, then probably, but for the most part, the M15, the higher time frame is always going to be the most accurate, right? So it's going to be the overall play, the long-term play. So if the stochastic is low on the M15, chances are it's going to continue to go up over time until that zigzag forms on the M15. So you may get a small pullback on that M1, which is what you can catch. Like you can catch that sale on the M1, as you can see, if I go back to the M1, we did have a, a, a small sale here. We had a pretty decent sale. It stopped, turned back around. Why? Because on the M15, although the stochastic is, is low and the other one is high, the overall trade is gonna go off that M15, right? You got flat bottoms on the M15. If you see, you got a flat bottom here, flat bottom here. The momentum is still pushing. The zigzag hasn't formed this way yet. So overall, over over time, that M15 is going to be way stronger. You know what I'm saying? So again, if you ever see, you know, the stochastic is high on the M15, but on the M1 is not, then you could still place trades on the M1, for instance, for a buy, right? If the stochastic was high on the M15, but low on the uh, M1, you could still place a buy on the M1. It's just going to be a shorter time frame. It's going to be a shorter lean. But the overall, because eventually it's going to turn back around and go exactly what the M15 is saying because that's the overall you know, trend, the overall uh, trade that you're looking for. So hopefully that answers y'all question. You know what I'm saying? So let me go back to this M1. You can see it's going to still push up. So I'm going to do a... This is just for demo purposes. I'm gonna do this right here. Couple hundred dollar trades on uh, Apple, saying that it's gonna go up in the next three minutes. Why do I believe that? Well, because it's a whole lot of rejection in here, so it may end up getting uh, smacked out, but I do think this is gonna go up and continue to push based off what the N15 is doing, all right? So, again, you look at the overall M15, the M15 is wanting to push up and come up here to these zones. Yeah, I know we got to look. Hold on. I keep pressing right clicking instead of left clicking. All right, here we go. So here's the zone here that it's already stuck at. It's going to continue to go up and continue to go up. You see, we got a bounce here before and went straight up. I believe that's what this is trying to do. Bounce and go straight up and continue up. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the trim that, you know, you can go off of. You can always still catch a small term sale. But then catch that overall buy, all right, and, and do it like that. So we could watch this play out on demo. If the M15 is retracing, then that's the movement that you're getting on that M1, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? 30 seconds left, and this thing is still in and out, in and out, in and out, just like I figured it would be. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally got a little movement out that thing. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you read a chart, baby. That's how you read that chart. Now go on, push up there and connect. Stop playing with me. Ah, oh, 12 seconds left. And they want to play a brother. Oh, they want to play a brother. That's all right. It's demo. Now you're about to make me get in because I know you're going back up. I'm just, I'm just going for five, about four minutes. I don't want to do no whole. Uh, we're just going to do a bunch of these right here. Four minute trade and we're going to let that thing run up to the earth. You can push that way too far, baby. I know you're going back up. That's how you got to talk to the market. You know what I'm saying? I know you're going back up. You can already show me where you was going. They trying to knock people out them trades. You feel me? I'm trading this like it's my real account. <laughs> this is how I be trading. I be in here getting it in. I'll be figuring it out. Okay. The best thing to do when you in these markets, man, is to play in that demo and really find out what the market be doing. 
You know what I'm saying? Because normally this ain't even a trade I would take based off of there's too many wicks. Like if you see all of these like little sticks, bro, it's too many of those. I can't do it. It's too much rejection going on in that thing. What I told you, the market going up and it's going to connect here in just a minute. And it's going to be a lovely trade. Why? Because that M15, although the stochastic is high on the M1, that M15 is still low. What I done told y'all. Do we really trade or no? See? Look at that. M15 still low. So we're going to go with that overall on that M15. You know what I'm saying? That overall trend. And look at the entry on that thing. Why? That's a beautiful entry right there. Loki should have got on that on my live, though. Man, look, we don't play no games, y'all. Hopefully, this is, you know, helping you understand. Hopefully, I didn't confuse y'all some more. If I did, man, comment below. You know, I could drop more videos on uh, helping y'all out. You know what I mean? You feel me? Because that's what it's all about, baby. We done broke out that. Now, the momentum, let's see. If he, if he head back, which I don't think he is, but if he do head back, because he done made it out of rejection. Now we trying to move up. There we go. There we go. That N15 going to get you right, man. That's why I call my signals off of that. Most of the time, off of that N15, y'all, because it's that accurate. Like, it really is. That overall push, when that when that stochastic on that N15 is low or high, oh, yeah, it's a go. It's a go. So you might, you might notice sometimes if I ever call a signal and it don't go right away, you know what I'm saying? That's because, you know, it still got to do its little retracements and all that. And I'm going to have to place, you know, two or three entries before I get it. But I'm smacking them over the head. Mostly every time. You feel me? So, yeah. Y'all see it, man. This is a real life demo. Real life the demo killer. You know what I'm saying? I kills the demo all day. Just comment below. Like I said, I do read y'all comments, man. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, the link is in the description. If you need the course, which I will be updating here pretty soon. Um... Grab that, you know, whatever it takes to make sure y'all win and eat, man. That's what it's all about. You know, I love y'all, man. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to be a blessing, man. This, this trade has blessed my life tremendously. I ain't got to go to no nine to five no more. And I could just, you know, trade and enjoy my life with my family, man. It's a beautiful thing. And I wish that for everybody else out there who's doing this. So don't give up on it, y'all. It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Even all the blown accounts, it's all worth it. It all makes sense in the end. I'm telling you, self-control, discipline. All that in these markets, man, and just practicing, looking at the chart, seeing where it's going. Just set up a bunch of zones, you know what I'm saying, on your demo and just sit, watch watch the market just tap, tap them zones. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, hey, this is, I'm about to eat. I guess I can go ahead and let this play out. We're about nine, ten minutes in the video, but y'all see the y'all see the trade playing out. Imagine this on the live account, though. Ooh, I would have smacked them over their head. 22 seconds left, man. But yeah, man, trading is all mindset, man. It's all mindset, y'all. You don't got to overcomplicate it. I can find setups like that. I'm talking about I click on a chart, instantly find a setup. I can instantly know when it's a chart. I'm not going to trade. I can instantly see where the setup is or where it's going. And that message should pop up just like it did. Good job, Jeremy. I figured because they want me to get in that live and smack profits. Ooh, we did it. All right. So that's hopefully, like, again, I asked you a question. I know I talk too much, but I love y'all. And I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> Peace.